The NFL made an $800,000 mistake, and it might have cost the Eagles the Super Bowl. You see, the NFL spent two years preparing specific grass for Super Bowl 57, going as far as inventing an entirely new type of grass called Tahoma 31, with funding from the United States Golf Association. And this new blend is supposed to be able to better handle the cold, disease, and recover quickly from repeated use. But instead, every player on the Chiefs and the Eagles said it was the worst field they'd ever played on. So what happened? Well, one theory put forward by Booger McFarland speculates that the desert climate created extra moisture on the field. The warm temperatures during the day paired with rapid cooldowns at night combined with an open roof could lead to extra slippery conditions. Other commentators, including Terry Bradshaw during the halftime show, cited the abnormally large painted areas on the field. But regardless of what caused it, these conditions clearly impacted the game. I mean, the Eagles set a franchise record this year for sacks and didn't have a single one in the Super Bowl. Hassan Reddick even mentioned that several times he felt like he beat his man, but when he tried to turn the corner, the field just wouldn't let him. Now, the NFL is already committed to donating this field to a local high school, but at this point, I'm not even sure they'd want to take it. Because